Hello, old old chums, uh, old friends. Uh, I, I'm. Uh, it's good to talk to. I, you know, sometimes these intros, I'm just. I don't know what the fuck to say. Like I, I just go I into tell. them. Like, yeah, you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> as, it as really the, doesn't matter. As the person who edits them, I'm always curious to see see what you do differently <laughs> each time. I, I know. I, in the past, I've done a lot of mm, thanks for sitting down, or I'm like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> anyway. I'm here with everybody knows Jay, everybody knows Woko if you've watched the streams. Uh, but real quick, why don't you just introduce thyselves? Uh, hello, I'm Jay. Uh, you may know me as uh, Sungwon's editor, uh, as well as his co-host on the ProZD Let's Play games. Uh, yeah, uh, this is my third time here, which is wild. The first three-timer. Uh, and Woko. Uh, g'day, uh, I'm Wilco, uh, you may have seen me on um, the charity board game streams, being a general menace, or um, occasionally referenced in some of the other stuff. That's um, true. Um, and uh, one of my oldest friends, uh, you were on with uh, Rick uh, in episode 40, uh, but it's good to have you back. Um, so let's just get to it. Uh, I asked Twitter for some suggestions. Do either of you have one you want to start with? Uh, yeah, this, uh, this one really spoke to me. Uh, what qualities yeah. make up your most ideal grilled cheese sandwich? Interesting. Okay. Um, I'll go first. Uh, for me, first off, I think the ideal American cheese, uh, Kraft Singles. Um, mm -hmm. I don't need fancy cheeses. I like fancy cheeses and I'll, you know, every now and then I'll go for like a fancy, you know, Ooh, let's put some fucking whatever on there. But uh -huh. at the end of the day, if I want the ideal, it's craft singles. Let's say two of them. Um, the bread also, mm, nothing too distracting. Like I wouldn't necessarily go as far as white bread, although I think there's nothing wrong with white bread, but maybe like, like, um, like uh what do you call it what's the what's like the between white and wheat it's like butter wheat or whatever right like something mm -hmm. like that no not rye okay uh it's it's like uh butter or something anyway uh just like not too, too super distracting just put two ch two slices of cheese in there um Anne marie will sometimes grill it with mayo on the on the sides have you ever done that that actually does a really good job but otherwise, just classic butter, butter mayo grill. on the sides, like like so you so you put mayonnaise on the sides on on the outside and use that to grill instead of uh, butter or like oh. oil. It actually works really well. You don't taste. I mean, I like mayo, but you don't taste um, the mayo. It just re it's just a really effective way to grill it. Uh -huh. Um, and then if I can have some like Campbell's tomato soup with that, uh, that to me is like ideal. Um, although back in the day, in my college days, uh, there was this place on MSU, shout out to the dairy store where they would make their own cheeses and ice cream and shit. <laughs> and they would, I, I would constantly go to, did I ever take you there, Wilco? I don't think so. Okay. Um, they, be, yeah, they had a grilled different, like, soup each day, and it was like, you, on Mondays, it was like free tomato soup with it. So I would go, I would get, um, jalapeno cheddar on rye, or sometimes sourdough, depending on my mood, mm. um, and get that with tomato soup, and that's, and the soup was free on Mondays, oh my god, that shit is, that shit was also good. Um, so that, overall, that's, I would say, for me... If I can have a tomato soup with it, perfect. And I don't want too many distractions, like no toppings, just like gooey cheese, simple bread. That's it. Uh, how about you, Jay? Uh, sourdough bread, mm. uh, a blend of spicy Colby Jack or mozzarella cheese, mm, uh, okay. blueberry preserves, and mm. if I'm feeling it, either bacon slices or tomato slices uh and that's it mm. like that's that combo uh like the having the spicy cheese but also like the sweetness of the blueberry preserves like really uh i don't know just elevates the sandwich for me that sounds good but is colby jack spicy uh I what guess, are you white 
I get. Oh no. Well, it's more so like uh, having a small <laughs> kick. I think about like the delis I went to when I was living in Brooklyn, and mm. I would just ask for Colby Jack, and like I don't know if it was, but it was the closest. They were just like <laughs> you have know, some fucking random ass cheese. I don't know. They they, la- they label it as Colby Jack, but it's like I look at it, I'm like that's not Colby Jack, but okay, and so it was <laughs> spicy. So like I don't know what that was cheese like, is, but <laughs> was it like uh, pepper spicy or like a horseradish spicy? Uh pepper. Mm, maybe maybe there's some like like uh, like peppers or something in there, but yeah, okay. Know. Um, to me that sounds good overall. I. I tomato huh on a grilled cheese that is interesting uh it's um, it's when i'm feeling it because like i'd rather you know for me i'd rather have meat than a vegetable sure but sometimes yeah. i'm kind of like yeah let's just let's just throw in tomato slices in there and i i like tomato slices i, I don't know why they're just they're good <laughs> yeah no yeah no 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 hating i do like tomato slices i've just for me i feel like with the blueberry that seems like an interest like for me the blueberry sounds great throw bacon on there great tomato i'm like Hmm. It's, a, try it. it's a different type of like crunch instead of uh, the bacon crunch uh, that mm. I'm looking for. Uh, like the sourdough bread obviously offers like the outside crunch, the initial crunch when you start biting in. Uh, but once you get inside, like I kind of also want like more in there. Uh, and so you I'm, want that tomato to be pretty firm then, not like super like like squishy or cooked or yeah, anything like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, okay. okay, I can see that. How about you, Wilco? <laughs> Uh, me, I usually like uh, like a rye bread um, and mm-hmm. like some like uh, like some sharp cheddar, like and mm. uh, like you know like like a bit of a bitey sort of cheddar, um, mm. and then I'll throw on like either either some ham or turkey slices and either sriracha or hot English mustard. Ooh, oh. that does sound good. Now, do they call them grilled cheeses there, or do they call them like cr- crusty dusties or something? What do you, what do they call them in Australia? Um, I mean, we don't usually like because like you guys like like grill them in like literally grill them in like a pan, right? Yeah. Yeah, we usually just use like a like a like a sandwich press or like a George Foreman grill or something. Um, That's more like a panini, though. I mean, like I, I don't know, like I, I until like like maybe a few years ago i wasn't aware that like the pan was even a even a component mm. of this like it just i see i mean people might do it but i just wasn't aware of it it's it's it does it does have a very like all american vibe to it mm. just like ah, cheese on a cheese on a bread on a grill um although like what you described does sound pretty fucking good yeah um yeah. Now, Wilco, is there one that you wanted to from the Twitter thread that you wanted to bring up? Let's see. Let's see. And if there are any others on there that either of you want, we don't have to do just one each. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. there, there are definitely others, but they I feel like they're longer conversations. <laughs> oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. But yeah, Wilco, is there one you want to throw on the, uh, the old the Barbie? You know, I'll. I'll, I'll go with uh, one that our friend Suha asked about, uh, whether or not I have a tale of youthful misfortune. Um, <laughs> yeah, because we've heard enough of Jay's. Jay's like, okay, we get it. You're Sasuke, Uch- like Uchiha. We the troll boy. Yeah. The blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> enough. Oh, no, boo-hoo. I, eat a fish. I drink a fish a fish shake. I can't eat fish, whatever. Yeah, you do the that, Roko. man. What the hell? <laughs> I'm good. I think I'm, I think I'm good on that. I'll pass. Um, but Wilco, would you have any tales of uh, yeah? Youthful I mean, when it comes to my, well, it's less less self inflicted than uh, seafood sauce hell. But um, <laughs> like one that sticks out in my memory, and I might have told you about it before, actually. But um, when I was a kid, I want to say <sighs> definitely like younger than seven, like maybe six, five, mm. or something. I don't know. Um. You know, my family's on vacation. Uh, there's, you know, my parents, my younger brother, myself, um, and I go off to use the bathroom. And uh, it's worth noting. It's important to note this point that my younger brother, at this point, has recently started using the toilet like a big boy. So um, mm. he's got like his little step stool potty thing that he's using to like, uh, you know, reach. Um, I think I have heard the story. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, 
you know, so um, it had been like left on the left on the floor, and like I uh, am off to the toilet. I trip on the damn thing, and I've just swan dive straight into the bowl head first. Oh no! Um, <laughs> which uh, not fun. Um, and so I'm making a lot of noise because I'm in pain, and you know my parents come up and see and see just like me sticking out of the toilet bowl, head in the bowl, <laughs> and you know I'm told that they thought it was very funny until they like they <laughs> pulled me up and saw all of the blood just pouring out of my oh. mouth because oh. like I've I've connected with the bowl like front teeth first, so they're Oof. bent up against the roof of my mouth. Um, Jesus. And uh, it's important to note, you know, we're on holiday, so we're in like a different state than usual. Um, and also it's Australia Day, so it's a public holiday. So now we have to try and find a dentist that is open. So it's like, all right, we have to drive like an hour and a half. <laughs> get to I do not oh remember God. most of this incident. I remember the fall yeah, into the really bowl. Knock the fuck out. <laughs> I remember the 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 fall into the bowl. I remember the pain, and that's kind of Oof. it. I've had most of the details filled in for me later. <laughs> but God damn, I feel like that's the most prominent tale of youthful misfortune I have. So you're welcome, Suha. See, that's real shit, Jaden. Like, oh, no, I, oh, I, 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 I fish, I fish, I no shake. Oh, no. Excuse me. <laughs> um, how are your teeth after that? Like, did they manage to, I mean, fix everything okay? Yeah, as a kid? yeah, they, they did. Like, I mean, on one hand, even if they were, like, buggered, it was like, well, at least a baby teeth, at least. So. Mm, that's true. Um, but, yeah. How old were you when this happened? I don't remember exactly. Somewhere between like five and Was seven, yesterday? I want to say. Mm, okay. But gotcha. uh, yeah, yeah. Happily, yeah, happily, uh, um, happily uh, I guess children's teeth are like malleable enough that the dentist was able to just like bend them back into place with pliers oh yeah oh jesus do you remember that did that hurt or were you <sighs> under like anesthesia or i sort of very vaguely remember bits and pieces but mostly just uh the fall and the pain <laughs> mm, gotcha um i think i've told this story before at least somewhere i forget whether it was on a let's play channel or um, I think it was on Let's Play Channel, actually. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely the Let's Play Channel, because they it, it was during the Intakes 2 playthrough, where I got stung by a wasp uh, on my left eyebrow. Um, it was very traumatic, and uh, it led to a very amusing... Uh, I was just like, uh, wasps are bad. And, be, and then just, like, any time someone wrote, like, actually, they're good, I just wrote, wasps are bad. Wasps are bad on all the comments uh, on that video. Um, <laughs> like, like your uh, uh, no, they're smooth. Um, of, of, the, of the of the shark of that it. classic Branson Reese shark comic. Um, but yeah, so I uh, I had that. I'm trying to think of like any other like traumatic, but not like traumatic in like the not fun way. <laughs> like uh, um, this isn't like super interesting, but like. Definitely one of the most scared I've been as a kid. This would have been like mm, early element elementary school. Um, I uh, didn't know how to s know how to swim, and actually, I really struggled with learning how to swim. You both know how to swim, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I know how to swim now as well. Um, have I talked about this at all? Like my experience with like struggling with learning how to swim. I don't uh, think so. Yeah, this is the first. I don't. I, yeah. Okay. I mean, because I, I, I just talk, you know, I tell a lot of stories on here and on, on um, the Let's Play channel, but I don't think I've actually talked about this. So, um, my, well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell the traumatic thing first, because it's not that interesting. Not that any of this is super interesting, but I'm not promising, like, an amazing story, but now that I'm on the topic. Uh, I was at a water park, and um, I went down a water slide, and usually at the bottom of the water slides, they're not super deep. Right, like there, it's pretty much like you know, you get up and you kind of like walk out, like. Um, but I had mistakenly gotten on one where the water was actually quite deep, and I did not know how to swim. Uh, and so as I 
fly out of the bottom into the water, you know, I'm preparing to like, oh, I'm going to stand up and, you know, or at least get out. And I can't, I'm like, oh, this is not that I cannot touch the bottom. Um, <laughs> and I'm like flailing in the water. Um, and no one I know is around. Oh, geez. I'm sure a lifeguard was probably maybe, I don't know. But at the, at the time I was fucking panicking. Um, and I somehow managed to scramble my way to the, to the side and uh nobody noticed like i i think i was even like i don't know if i was screaming help but i was ever like you know like uh nobody helped me and that's when i learned nobody in this world will help you uh and i have to just no oh. <laughs> i uh <laughs> no, <laughs> no i uh but i didn't i did uh make it out fine um but it definitely stuck with me because i still remember it um and then so the segue um when i was growing up uh, I was enrolled in swimming lessons from a young age, and I actually, uh, there was like a certain level. Did you guys have like, did you do swimming lessons, or did you just kind of learn on your own? You know, we had uh, learned to swim down here. Uh, I, d- I did lessons. Yeah. I did lessons, and uh, I struggled a lot, uh, to like an embarrassing extent. Um, like, I could not get past a certain level, um, because I just could not like like if you had to go underwater and shit i just couldn't do it like and i didn't really get why for the longest time like i i just struggled with it and then i realized oh cuz i mean i don't know why i didn't think this was an option or like nobody like presented this to me but no one else wore them but i was like i i i wore goggles and then i just blazed through everything because for me, for some for some reason, I mean, I have really bad vision. I had a cataract in my left eye as a kid, so that eye, and even though it, I had surgery, that, that left eye is basically blind. Uh, so without my glasses, um, and, and in, a, in a swimming area, uh, there was definitely, like, a lot of fear, because I just couldn't see anything. Uh, and if I went underwater, with so it was, like, doubled with, like, the fact that I can't see well. And then I have to like do stuff underwater and blah 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 blah. I just I just couldn't do it as a kid. Um, but then having the goggles and being able to open my eyes underwater, uh, I was like, oh, this is. And then I and then I blazed through it. My mom, like my mom had to pay for so many. I kept failing a certain level, and you know, to her credit, she was patient. She was okay. We'll just try again and try again. And I think maybe maybe one of the instructors was like, has he tried like goggles? <laughs> Like, because I think that's the issue. It's like he's fine when his when his head is above the water, and he's fine with other things. But it's just he can't like deal with like going under the water. Um, so yeah, now now whenever I go to the pool or whatever, I always have goggles. Um, huh? Yeah. I I mean, in a similar way, like I I when I did lessons, I I also couldn't get past a certain level while diving. Um, but goggles mm. did not help me, and not having goggles definitely didn't help me. Uh, mm. so my mom just gave up on paying for lessons because like you just can't swim. You're just you're just wasting your time and my money. <sighs> um, but years later, like or ra- as like as like a like a high schooler, I just like decided like you know what I'm just gonna dive into this pool and let's just see what happens. And then I was able to do it on my own. So I don't know if it was just mm. like I lacked the like physical awareness, I guess, of what my body could do when I was younger. Uh, or I was just more aware of it when I'm older or whatever, but like, yeah, it, it was post less, even though I did take lessons, it was post lessons that, uh, uh, well, that made me actually learn. <laughs> Before that point, though, if I threw you in a swimming pool, could you survive? I think I could survive. I wouldn't like sink like a hammer or like drown immediately. I, I knew a little bit of what to do, but I think I would tire out and then be like i need help <laughs> like mm, like i knew because okay. when did when did you fail out what age were you when you like quote unquote failed or like when your mom was like enough ah uh, i want to say eight nine or ten maybe one of the like mm. somewhere it, it's a little murky because i was like i was still okay. living in jersey at the time so it was like somewhere around then um, i see yeah interesting because diving like i feel like I I don't remember the exact order of swimming lessons, but I thought diving was like kind of like later in the game of like learning shit. Like, 
like I thought they taught you like front crawl, back stroke, like that stuff before that, but maybe I'm just misremembering. Um, I mean, if that's the case, like, then my instructor definitely jumped some levels and <laughs> was like, "Hey, let's start yeah. diving." So, yeah. what the? Yeah, like, we did diving, diving is not even. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Welcome. No, I was like, "Yeah, I think we did like diving like pretty late in the learn to swim program down here. Like, they wanted to make sure you could like, I guess, swim up Live. and down the pool and like go yeah. under and." You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if my mom was like, "Oh yeah, my son's advanced level. He can he can start." Oh no! <laughs> I would not be surprised okay. if she did that. Like, that is very that, that is very that Korean. Would answer, I will <laughs> say. Um, <laughs> interesting. Yeah, no, diving was definitely later because uh, I learned diving, I guess, but I don't remember how to fucking dive. I don't dive. Like, I that's not information I need as an adult. Like, I don't care about diving. If I'm going to yeah. jump off a diving board, I'm going to cannonball. And if, you know, like, like if I'm going to, and if I'm going in the ocean, I'm not diving. Unless I'm, I'm yeah. not diving off a if cruise you, ship. If you're going in the ocean, you, you, you keep your glasses loose and just make sure yeah. they fly off your head right, right when you dive oh, in. Well, see, well see, <laughs> see, first, first, you go, the first time you see the ocean, you run in with your cell phone in your pocket <laughs> and, and fry it. And then the second time you see the ocean... You know, then you lose your glasses, uh, and, and your wife gets mad at you. Oh, no. and you have to, what are you gonna you lose to next time? Your keys? <laughs> yeah, and then you and then you go to an Ethiopian restaurant afterwards, uh, completely like can't see anything, and you're just eating delicious mystery food in days. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Ethiopian was, food uh, is delicious. So you know, at that point, it you're is like, delicious. I'd be like, and oh, well, I don't care. Like, whatever I pick up is probably going to be fantastic. <laughs> it was. I did luck out that that was the restaurant we went to because, yeah, like you said, I could just okay, just grab the bread and just eat this. Ooh, it's good. Okay, yeah. Mm, uh, mm. But it definitely. I had not not worn glasses for that long, and it gives you a fucking headache. Like it is just not being able to see for that long because I've like swam, you know, and I you know for like long periods of time. But afterwards, you put on your glasses. But this was like okay. Well, now we're going to dinner, and <sighs> at that point, my brain was just fucking fried. Um, yeah, you definitely don't need to learn how to dive early on. I think either your mom threw you in the sixth grade uh, <laughs> swimming lessons or something, or uh, your teacher was just ambitious, because diving is definitely supposed to be late game. But, eh, you learned eventually. I guess that's... He's Let's tall go. enough to swim with the big kids. He'll be fine. <laughs> I yeah. wasn't tall. Maybe that... I was that tall when I was like <laughs> that age. You're like, ah, he's too long. Look at this freak. Uh, he's fine. He doesn't need to learn how to swim. He'll touch too the ocean floor. Too long for beginner class. Too long. Oh yeah, my god. Exactly. <laughs> It's a it's a very um uh uh was it golden boy moment of just like <laughs> so how do you like my swimming? <laughs> how do you like my swimming? God. Um uh, all right. Well we talked about swimming more than I thought I would, but I, I did think that was interesting. Uh were there any other um other well, Twitter uh, topics either of you wanted to Speaking grab? of anime, uh this person asked something that I was like, okay, this is a longer discussion, I feel. Sure. But, uh, anime you like that others dislike, or anime you dislike that others like? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mm. Uh, Ooh. And you, okay. yeah, I know this is this is like the the danger territory where everyone's like, "All right, I'm gonna either sign off of this podcast or or never <laughs> care about these people again." Um. Uh. But I mean, I can start because the first one yeah, uh, that came ahead. to mind, and you guys have heard me say this, Hunter Hunter. Like everyone, yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone loves Hunter Hunter. I don't care. Like I and people are like, "What? How is that possible?" And I'm like, "Did you? How much did you watch?" I'm like, "I've watched a hundred episodes, and I stopped in the middle of Chimera Ant Arc." And everyone's like, "Whoa, what, that's the best one!" And I'm kind of like, "Why should it take me this long to like this series?" <laughs> I, I, and people are like, "Well, what was your favorite arc?" And I'm like, "I'll be real. The first one, the Hunter Exam arc, was my favorite one. Like, I had a lot of fun." Uh, just getting mm -hmm. to be like, well, I'm already thrown into like a tournament arc, and I'm learning the characters this way, and learning about their ambitions really fast. I'm like, this is fun, cool. I I I dig this, and I think I think what really lost me for that series was like, I don't know, uh, people was argue Green Island. Like, oh well, Green Island was pretty fucking bad. I was like, <laughs> I don't even know what Nen is, and you're teaching me another magic system with playing yeah. cards i was like this is stupid but uh uh the like for me like 
the Gon, I think, is a fun character, but when he was like, I just want to see what's so good about hunting that made my dad leave me. And I'm like, okay, that's an interesting goal, but I'm for it. And people are like, no, 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 the, the goal is Gon wants to find his dad. I'm like, no, he doesn't want to find his dad till later. And his first goal was to become a hunter. And the first thing he does with his license is sell it to buy a video game. I was so like checked out at that moment. I'm like, this isn't fun to me. Like, and people are like, how is this different from when like, I don't know, airhead protagonist, like Luffy does something silly. I'm like, dude, there's like earnestness in what Luffy does. Gon was seen like an absolute aimless, like, like, I don't know. It was like, yes, he's a child, but it just really threw me off. Um, and I, maybe also because I, I really love Yu Yu Hakusho. So I was kind of hoping for something of that vibe. Um, and I was like, mm. oh, cool, like, Gon, Kilua, uh, Kurapika, and Liario, these are the four boys, these are the new Yusuke, Kuro, uh, Kuwabara, Kurama, and Hiei, like, I got this. And then <laughs> Liario and Kurapika fucking leave, and I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> I, they're not here, okay, all right, and these two boys are trying to learn some kind of magic, and, and oh, Kurapika's in, in New York, and then he's doing something, I guess he already knows how to use the magic that I don't quite understand, because the the other two boys didn't know how to use it, but okay. <laughs> like, uh, but yeah, I don't know. Um, that being said, I get why people are into it. It is a very fun, pure, what I call a pure shonen, like battle shonen, where it's like, it's kind of like, you don't really need to question a lot. You kind of just like immerse, let yourself be immersed and just let this like grand adventure happen. Um, yeah. But uh, for, I guess for me, I kind of want something more out of that genre. Um, and Hunter Hunter was just not it for me. Yeah, I think everything you're saying is fair. I'll just say I'm so glad this isn't a Jay and Steve episode, because then I'd have to hear the same conversation you guys always have about Hunter Hunter every time this comes Steve, up. Steve. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, and uh, and uh, that I, I'm like I don't need to hear this Steve, uh, for Steve the thousandth go. time. Steve is my ally. He is my ally in this, and like I, I I cherish him for for understanding me about this. Yeah, like I as someone who really likes Hunter Hunter, I uh I like it for different reasons than say like one piece or um anything like that where that's that one piece i'm invested in like well actually it's not fair to say that i'm not invested in the characters in hunter hunter because i like Killawa a lot um but you're right in that it is a very like pure battle shonen and a lot of it is just like kind of watching other characters that are more interesting uh have like fun like interactions and fights for me um, I do like the villains a lot. Oh, it. I love Phantom uh, Troop. Yeah, like Phantom Troop is very fun, and I think uh, with like Chimera Art in, in particular, yeah, the the villains are why you watch that arc. You don't watch that arc for the for, for um the protagonists at all. Like it's actually much more interesting to see what's going on um on the other side of things. Uh, it's a mess structurally, um, but. I don't know. There's just some like, it's just fun. I think it's I I've only seen parts one and two of JoJo, but I feel like it's why I like if I ever got into JoJo, I would probably like JoJo for the same reasons. You know what I mean? Mm. Like unless unless you get, I mean maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. I'm, I'm assuming that, and maybe I will get super invested in the characters in JoJo, but. Uh, I'm deaf in parts one and two. I definitely wasn't. I was just like, this is fun and stupid. Like I am, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm not having a bad time. Uh, and I think that's just kind of like how I feel about Hunter Hunter, but I like it more. Um, yeah, but yeah, we'll see. I, but yeah, I, it's not something I'll like. Um, oh man, I'll fight you over Hunter Hunter. Uh, <laughs> oh, a lot of people want that. to fight me. <laughs> oh no, yeah, and then and then uh, oh yeah, I was at Steve's party and every and everyone threw tomatoes at me. And then Steve L goes, yeah. oh, uh, and then Steve goes, yo, oh, yo, Jay, Jay, if if I were there, I I, I would uh, I would. <laughs> He's listening to this. He's like, he's doing his Steve impression again. <laughs> yo, I, I I would be on your side, Jay. Oh yeah, and I'm and then me, I'm like, oh go away, I get to hear this conversation. Again. <laughs> um, um, I feel like there are much I better get reasons I, to I fight, Jay. Get it. 
Exactly. Much better reasons. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, <laughs> although, you know what's funny, though, is I, I was in a Twitch stream last night. Someone was, I think, was a question either, I think it was, do you, do, do you and Jay have similar tastes? And I was like, actually, I think Jay, like, out of all my friends, Jay is one of the most similar in terms of taste to me. Um, not It's not a 100% correlation, but it's pretty fucking close. Uh, I would say out of the people I know, like, the closest in correlation might be, like, I think the one who's the closest is Casey, or, uh, Miski, for those of you who know her by that, by her artist handle. Uh, mm -hmm. our, our oh, anime tastes are almost exactly the same. Um, and I'd say, like, Jay's very close. Wilco's pretty close, you're pretty close, too. I would, actually, yeah, I think now that I'm thinking about it, you two might be the closest, aside from that. Um, Anne Marie, not ex like maybe like slightly behind, but she tends to not like the slice of life as much, and that's such a strong part of my core. Yeah, she um, didn't uh, really seem to care for a sound euphonium, right? Yeah, which was disappointing because we didn't get that far, and I was like, oh, but you didn't get to, uh, you know, I think if we had stuck with it, but you know, she doesn't, she, uh, to her credit, you know, she's like, eh, I don't. I, I don't want to watch anymore. It's like, I got to respect that. Mm -hmm. um, like, I think um, I would have to talk to them more about it. But like, uh, I think Sapphire, I think we have some similarities. Um, <laughs> All that, yeah, I, I will say I do uh, like, uh, I just remember about Sapphire when uh, she was like, oh, yeah, I thought the, the, the cultural festival arc in My Hero was so boring. I was like, oh, my heart! <laughs> Stabbing at the very what? heart of Jay. Oh. I mean, it had a, t had a terrible villain, so... Oh, you know, my I, God. I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I often find with people, it's either two extremes. Either they find the slice of life so boring, and I'm like, that's, the, that's like the biggest of, like, uh, not sin, but like, Oh, we are. We don't have the same taste. If they don't like slice of life, mm -hmm. like, fuck it, I'll call him out, David. Like he's like, uh, Shirobako is not that. It was fine. I was like, you're fine, you bitch. Oh, <laughs> like, like Shirobako's fucking great. It's one of the all time greats. I still need to see that one. Um, oh, uh, you fun. should. It's amazing. Wait, Wilco, um, what? What? Uh, is there? Yeah, is there an anime that you dislike that others praise? Uh... I, I'm I'm just trying to think because like as as someone just said like uh, like our tastes are relatively similar so I'm like yeah mm, what, what's something that I like that at least wouldn't be isn't uh, so well liked with uh, the uh, rest of the crowd here which is hard to narrow down uh, I that's gonna be the rest of the us mm, that just like at, you know the, the in general yeah like um, I don't know if it's necessarily yeah. that others don't like but like. I have had a hell of a time trying to sell um, uh, some of my local friends on trying to hire for a while. It's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know your pain. I know your pain. Oh man, uh, have they? Have you? Did you show them any episodes? Uh, no, no. Um, like my uh, a couple of one of my friends from like uh, my pandemic legacy group is like. You're like, oh, do you have any anime recommendations? Like, we have this conversation like every two sessions, Raz. Just watch Chai for, for Christ's sake. <laughs> what you need to do is just get all your friends, lock them in a room, <laughs> strap them down, and just show them like the first three episodes. I think the first three are actually a pretty good hook. Um, yeah. Yeah, like. That's true. Like, that's true. Yeah. Like something like if you're not on board by the first three, I would say don't bother. Mm. Uh, but everyone, like our friend Suha, at the time of this recording, I know she was watching it, and she she said something like, "Is it normal? Am I being overly sensitive that to, to, like I'm crying like every episode?" I'm like, "No, like that's it's a beautiful show, and like the character, yeah, like you're watching it right. Uh, mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. it's fucking great. Um, I uh, this is." Not, ex I mean, on that note, I just had these thoughts. I'm just throwing them in here because these are these uh, podcast episodes are fucking time capsules. But I, uh, I recently watched, uh, rewatched High season three, Jay. Yeah. And Wilco, you haven't seen any High right? I have not. No, I know it's about the volleyball um, boys. 
uh, no spoilers, but um, uh, the oh, what episode is it? Four. Uh, probably is it Full Moon? Is that yes. what it's called? Yes. Yeah. Oh! It's <gasps> it's a really high point in just anime in general, and like yeah, yeah it still shakes me to my core. Mm-hmm. It 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 it's just incredible, incredible. And then another moment I was gonna say. Uh, that got me really emotional watching it. Because uh, I was going to just tell you all this anyway, but I've just it just slipped my mind. Sure. Um, so I'm just telling you now. Um, the Because uh, this is not a spoiler, Woko, but um, the Seiyu for the coach in Haikyuu pass, passed away during the making of season three. So his last episode... Yeah. I don't know if you realize this, Jay, or do you know that? Oh, it's yeah, the line. When, oh. he, when he does his speech... Well, don't say the line. Yeah, but yeah. He does, like a, he does like a little speech. Mm-hmm. I, ooh, it it hits. Yeah, it hits, and is with the context of knowing that's like his last performance. Oof, it's it's amazing. Did you know was, that uh, for the season three OST, the first track is that line? Whoa! Yeah, oh, it's it's shit. it's that line, and it, and then the second track is immediately uh, like it, when you listen to it in one go, it's that line, and it jumps straight into the track during the final point. I'm like, whoa! Uh, this hits hard. Damn, I knew what that was doing. Chills, just you saying that. Uh, but yeah, for those of you listening, if you haven't seen Haikyuu, it's truly great, truly great. I I still need to watch. Um, I haven't watched past season three, but I just rewatched season two and three. Uh, I'm currently re. I'm just, I don't know why I'm talking about this. I'm currently rewatching Kaiji. Which is f- still fucking great. Oh, Kaiji's uh, so good. Blaze, blaze through like the first thirteen I episodes. I still gotta finish like, that. <laughs> you need to. How far? Did you, you didn't even get to past the first arc, right? I got the no. I got uh, past the first game. Um, oh, okay. But that's it. Mm. Uh, but you don't know the next game. Mm-hmm. No, no, I do not. Ooh, <laughs> the next game's really good. Uh, <laughs> really good. Okay. Like, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, like. like like he came up earlier, but like our friend Steve, he, I loved hearing his reactions to watching Kaiji. Oh, <laughs> he's like, yeah. he's like, my blood pressure has gone up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just like, oh, it's Jay, so the, Jay the anime. <laughs> like, I'm just watching Jay being thrown into horrible scenarios. Look, okay, I know, uh, I know, I like. I I try really hard in Danganronpa, but I look when I look at Kai, when the few episodes of seen the Kaiji, I'm like I'm not this smart. I would I would I would owe so much money. Like I I would I would be I'd I'd be sold away forever. Like you know. Um, but I feel like Kaiji is this great balance of he's smart, but he's also really dumb. Like he's like somehow both at the same time. Uh-huh. Uh It's kind of what works about him is like. He does have these flashes of brilliance and then makes really dumb decisions. Yeah. Uh, like, you know, kind of like, well, maybe not so much flashes of brilliance, but it's kind of the appeal of oh watching my you play goodness. Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I, you should. You, I oh, wonder, yeah, I mean, not that there were no spoilers, obviously, but I feel like at this point, we either well into Danganronpa V3 or done with it. By the time this is out. Mm, you, mean, you mean the uploads? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, I think definitely by this by the time this episode. Comes have you out, finished yeah. playing it as yet? Or yes, we have. Okay. We have. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, but uh, we we won't. Uh, you'll have to just just stay tuned. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah. If you don't know what we're, ta- what we're talking about, go check out. Rosie <laughs> D plays games. It's uh, it's the shit. Uh, and that playthrough, whether I, it, it's definitely out by now, I imagine. Um, it's, uh, it's a good one. Um, but, uh, kind of going back to the topic at hand, uh, let me, let me make some people mad. First off, Evangelion. Um, uh, that's my, that's my probably number one. Like, I respect Evangelion, but I think it's, that second half is just pretentious as fuck. Uh, even though I, and I, I, and I think I've actually grown to like it a little more over the years. As a kid, I just hated, hated it. Uh, I've grown to be like, I respect it now. Um, the third remake movie, I hated it. And I liked the first two quite a bit. 
I haven't seen um, 3.0 plus 1.0 thrice upon a time, which is quite a title, but I have not seen that yet. Oh, that's the actual um, title. I thought you were taking the piss for a second. <laughs> yeah, I, it sounds like it, right? But um, yeah, Evangelion is one. Uh, I think 5 centimeters per second sucks. Uh, I think it's a boring-ass movie. Um, and I thought for the longest time I just didn't like Makoto Shinkai. Because Garden of Words also sucked. Uh, and then Your Name was pretty good. So I was like, okay, I guess I guess <laughs> you can make a movie I don't hate. Um, Full Metal Alchemist 2003 sucks. Uh, you sure? Wilco, Wilco, have you... Shut up. Wilco, <laughs> have you still not seen Brotherhood? I have still not seen Brotherhood. What the... F I was just thinking about this the other day. What the fuck is sorry, wrong with Sorry, sorry. I have seen the first few episodes of Brotherhood with the Iceman. <laughs> Isaac the Ice Alchemist. <laughs> uh, I hate it. But uh Wilco. <laughs> fucking watch Brotherhood. Yeah, that's What do you what what's on your plate right now? What are you watching? Uh let's see. I'm like I mean, I've been watching Ranking of Kings at the moment. I'm I'm oh, not I'm, I'm not, I'm I'll, not I'll, up to I'll, date. I'll slide. I'm not up to date on <laughs> that yet. Um yeah, it's it's a pretty good up. show. Maybe you've heard of it saying what? Um Yeah, well, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> um but uh yeah, so as far as I'm I uh let me think for a second. I haven't been watching much anime recently, but I guess I I still have Legends of the Galactic Heroes on my plate, which I want to get back oh, into. Oh, that's true. Yeah, but that'll always be there that, for you. That will always be there. Giant um, black box. The big black box. Um, otherwise, I'm mostly between shows at the moment. Watch Brotherhood. Watch it. Okay. Watch it, because I need you to meet the character who is you, Grumman. <laughs> oh, <Right>? yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. That character <laughs> is so... That's just you. Like, I've shown you the picture of him, You right? have, you have. This yeah. wily old uh, ass man. He's so good. Because um, he just, like, gets, like, what, one scene in 2003 or something, and it's incidental or he's something, He's like a right? nothing character in it, but in, in Brotherhood, he's... I'm putting a picture in the chat. He's amazing. <laughs> he's great. Oh, my... Uh, I love him. <laughs> um, yeah. One of the, one of the best... Uh, uh, manga characters. Um, uh, this this but, just uh, came oh. to mind, and I just have to say this. Uh, uh, Wilco, I know we associate you a lot with imageries of top hats and and yeah. whatnot. Um, but I and the reason I bring this up is I recently uh, uh, beat getting over with Ben and Foddy fifty times. Mm -hmm. I got that achievement. Um, and for those of you who don't know, it's a very difficult game, and only I believe one point nine percent of people of pe who have played the game have actually done this achievement. And there's a part in the in the game where there's an obstacle where there's a giant top hat. And every time now, because now it's like at first it was a very frustrating game. My first time was like eleven hours, and now my fastest time is seven minutes. I'm still trying to eventually break five minutes, but. Uh, every time I reach the part where I see the top hat, I just like angrily yell, "Out of my way, Wilco!" And I just like swing the <laughs> hammer, just smack the hand like the hat away. So uh, this is this is my way of saying I miss you, man. <laughs> so, oh, thanks, uh, bud. Yeah, Be that's beautiful. Um, I I had a thought. Uh, so you know the the characters that are absolutely J are what? like Kaiji and uh, Hachiken from Silver Spoon. Hachigan, I think, is the most you of all characters. And I, you would agree on this. I definitely agree. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's literally your Discord icon. Um, and with oh, Wilco, is that who that is? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, you haven't seen Silver Spoon no, either? Silver Spoon's one of the ones that's on my list. Oh, God. It's, you know, it's good. I've definitely, as I've been watching Haikyuu, I'm like, mm, should I throw Haikyuu in, in, in the anime club? Should I throw a Silver Spoon? Should I throw. Um, I'm just like there's there's too um, much good and too much good or what's up? I mean, I would say Silver Spoon first, just because Haiku is longer. That's why. Oh no no, I wasn't yeah. actually thinking yeah. like next, but like yeah, 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 at yeah. some point. Yeah. I mean, because oh, I mean, you know, God bless I mean, Anime Club. It's a great way to like see some of the ones that like I've been meaning to watch forever that like <laughs> just haven't gotten around to. 
Yeah, I agree. It's been great, like, filling in the gaps. Um, I guess at the time of this recording, um, on the current lineup, the ones that um, I haven't seen, for those listening, are Doro Hadoro, which has been a lot of fun. Um, Panty and Stocking, which <laughs> was very fun from that first episode. Um, Skate the Infinity, which I'm very interested to see more, because I thought the first episode was very solid. And uh, Michiko and Hachin, which... I <laughs> I like it, but I'm I don't think I'm as into it as everybody else. But I I'm still curious. I'm curious. Mm-hmm. Like like what? what uh, I assume you guys are both pretty into Michiko. I I like it a lot. Um, I think for me, a lot of uh episodic anime where every episode is just kind of like a random thing. Um, mm. it's kind of hard to get my attention with those at times. Yeah, I'm like less invested. I like the characters of Michiko and Hachin a lot. Um, and I like this idea of what their grand quest is. But uh, sometimes my brain just like tunes out when I'm watching. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. No disrespect yeah, I wouldn't to like, go... the show by any means. Um, but yeah. Sure, sure. Oh, I, yeah, could... I recognize that it's a good show. I wouldn't go as far to say that I tune out. But I, for me, episodic, it's like, I think it has to be pretty like, top notch for me to be like i love it you know what i mean like i love mushishi i don't know if either of you really got into mushishi at all but um it's one of those ones that, that you've one... mentioned a few times over the years that i've think you know i should check that one out uh, I... have you seen mushishi jay Nah, it's on my list i love mushishi i it that one is beautiful but um uh yeah for an episodic one i think i have it has to like really knock it out of the park every time with Michiko, I think it's like some episodes have been like very good and some have been like, mm, okay, but I think it's still too early for me to tell because we're only like like a third of the way through, I think. So, mm. uh, were you going to say I'm, something? Wilco? Sorry. No, go ahead. I was like, I'm enjoying it a lot. Although the, the thing for me with uh, Michiko and Hachin is just like, all right, let's 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 spin the wheel. Is today's episode going to be like funny or is it going to just be like very grim? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. There is definitely that. Yeah, some of them end very grimly, which I actually like that about the show. Mm-hmm. Um, some of their shows that are not, not Michiko and Hachin, but here, what, what are the things that I don't like? Uh, Code Geass sucks. Uh, <laughs> what I, 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 every time you bring up how much you hate Code Geass, I, I think it's interesting because I enjoyed it a, a great amount when, I, when it was coming out, when I watched it. Mm. I don't know mm. if it still holds up for me. But there are moments that I still think back to that I'm like, yeah, I, I thought that was pretty good. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time I attended Oticon with you and um, like, I haven't seen Code Geass, but it's just like, oh, choose whichever, like, I guess, design you want in your pass. And I was like, I got the one with like Lucian. I was like, okay, like this has got like a, a like a fun, dramatic looking man in the cape. And you took one look and I was like, oh, you bitch, you would pick that. <laughs> 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 that tracks uh oh i, I was gonna uh, going back to something i was talking about before so yeah jay <laughs> is kaijin hachiken uh we'll go your grumman um but are there any characters that either of you would say are like that's definitely like sung one energy you you brought this up before mm. when we casually talked about it but i feel like i feel bad because I don't know. I, I, and yeah. it's maybe, maybe because you're such a versatile person, but like, it's, it's, I, I keep thinking like, like, who's got, and I say this lovingly, who's got bastard energy, but also isn't mm-hmm. like irredeemable, right? Like, <laughs> so, <laughs> wow, uh, such a glowing review. Isn't I, irredeemable. Look, I'm just, I, I say this lovingly. <laughs> Right, yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like, like, yeah, like Wilco's got a different kind of sinister energy. You know what I mean? Like, 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 yeah. you, like Wilco's definitely Grumman, but you're not Grumman. You know? Like, right. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. I feel like in FMA you might be closest to Mustang, in my opinion, but you're not quite Mustang mm. either. You know what I mean? Like, that's definitely been brought up before. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's a little tough. Um, mm. um, because you got you got aspects of Eraser Head. But you know, from My Hero Academia, but you're not always like miserable and tired. You have, you know, like you have, mm-hmm. you have, um, the love, the passion for your your interests, like 
uh, Haiji in Run with the Wind, but Haiji's not fully you either because you know it's mm. it's it, yeah. That's why I'm like it's I haven't I haven't seen a character that's like a hundred percent you. Uh, um, yeah. I seen I when we when we like when we do this uh, and for for those of you that, who don't know like you know some we'll just casually like whenever we're all as our inner group into something we'll like casually cast each other as those characters like who are we most like in that show mm-hmm. um, yeah. and so we've been able to do that but even then those characters aren't like you you know mm. um I, I don't know I'm like I'm thinking back to like like. Like who do we cast each other for? Odd oh, taxi because I know my character. Everyone, everyone was like immediately like that's <laughs> that's Jay. Like Jay's the the fucking uh, idol loving. It skunk. wasn't even a conversation. Like, it was just no. Yeah. yeah, yeah. As soon as I saw him, oh, there's Jay. He's here <laughs> in the show. Um, um, yeah, that's that's what I mean. Like, but I, I forget who we decided for you. But like, I feel like even then it was kind of like we had to like think about it. We had to like workshop it a bit. I guess I'm just such an interesting person. I guess it's just hard. No, uh, <laughs> like, I don't know if it's a I, perfect got, fit, but, like, my gut reaction for, like, what's a character that I associate with someone is probably Smoker from One Piece. Um, mm, oh, okay. Like, because, you know, he's pretty serious, most, but he's, like, still very capable of just being goofy. Like, sorry, kid, my ice cream ate your pants. My pants ate, my, ate your ice cream. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I think that's pretty good. One that I think also works, and I, I was thinking about it, I was like, this fits pretty well as um Sengoku from One Piece, uh especially oh, post yeah. time skip Sengoku. Um, time like, skip Sengoku definitely like pre time yeah. skip. I feel like I associate him more with David, but yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, post time skip Sengoku when I just see him just. Fucking just, I'm just eating my cookies or crackers and just like, I don't give a shit. What are you gonna <laughs> do? Make me yeah. step down as Fleet Admiral? <laughs> right, because like, because, uh, because Dave is Garp. If Dave is Garp, then I'm Sengoku. Uh, mm-hmm. in, in, in Odd Taxi, I don't remember. Maybe Dobu? I, I don't remember who we assigned me, if we even did assign anybody. Um, I think I, I have heard in terms of characters I've heard, I do think one of the closest is probably Hyodo from Agretsuko. I would say it's definitely the closest to me I've played in terms of performance. Um just his Yeah, that that role was made for you. So <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like just him freaking out at idol like at idol concerts. <laughs> just going uh, full ham. Yeah. Um Woko, one character that and I don't know how you feel about it, but I I will always associate Mr. Three with you uh, in One Piece. Honestly, that's uh, fair. Like, I'll lean into that. <laughs> like, I, I love Mr. Three. And <laughs> I recently rewatched Little Garden, and I'm like, oh my god. Like, <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, here's my ultimate plan. Like, oh my god. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's funny. There are definitely, like, Wilco characters that pop up. Uh, I'm like there, there he is. Um, one that like, it's not a one to one, and I'm I'm curious, um, what you guys might think. But as I was rewatching, this is a show we mentioned before, Sound Euphonium, a character that I kind of connect with. Can you guess? Ooh, let me think about that for a second. Hmm. Was it, uh, was his name, uh, Taki Sensei? Is that his name? No, I don't, okay. I don't, I don't, I'm not really a Taki Sensei. Okay, well, yeah, that's what I'm like, I'm like trying to think about. Asuka? Yeah, I, I do have a, I do connect to Asuka in a weird way. Mm, I, I could say that. Uh, like, characters that, like, have, because, you know, she can be very silly, but she also can be a little standoffish and a little like I don't know, hard to read. Uh it, it You I both have like, glasses huh. and We both have glasses. Yeah, yeah. Um we both play the euphonium. Yeah. You both um, have dark colored hair. Uh uh <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um No but I, I yeah, see what I you're like, saying. I was like, yeah, this is like a weird um Another character. This isn't another. This isn't an analog or one to one, but um, was um, the guy in Watakoi, <laughs> the 
there were aspects of him where I was like, fuck, I, I can't. Did you really watch Water Coy? I, I saw the first episode. I, I need to watch more. Uh, it's fun. Like, um, I think the, the guy is a little too, like, not emotionless, but a little, like, cold. But there were aspects of him where I was like, oh, I can, I can kind of see it. Um, now, we've been talking about anime that uh, we don't like, that people like. Um, but do we have ones for the other end? Where we like it, even though it's not really liked much? Um... <laughs> I mean to mi- to mimic what you always say, Sung One. Uh, no, I don't. I don't have bad taste. I only like good anime. <laughs> uh, no, um, let me think. Uh, I I feel like for me, it's more so I like stuff way more than people like it. Like, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, okay. like I love My Hero Academia, the manga. Um. Mm. But I know not as many people are into it, and it makes me sad that, like, I feel like season five is a little underwhelming on the production side for the anime because a lot of people I know who were really into it just kind of, like, stopped watching. So mm. it, it's kind of a bummer because uh, I, I, like, I love the series so much, and they're always asking me, like, is it worth, like, continuing? And I'm kind of like, I think it is, but, you know, mm. maybe it's not worth your time. I don't know. Um, okay. But, you yeah, let me think more about uh, uh, if there's something that other people straight up hate, um, what about you, Woko? Uh, let's see. Like, I think it's interesting what you said about my hero because it's like I haven't watched season five yet. Like, I plan on doing so, but like it's been shifted like a considerable distance down my priority list based on what you said about it. Mm. <laughs> it's like if even Jay's like, oh, it's a hard sell. It's like, all right, so season five can wait until a rainy day. <laughs> <laughs> while you're thinking um i think for me i don't have like one that people hate because again i just have impeccable taste but i think of course the closest thing i can think of is i kind of like what you were saying jay like what you like a lot more i really love Kaon a lot and i know that's not everyone's cup of tea ha 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 yeah time um but uh I rewatched it pretty recently and I was like, this is still really good. Like it, I think it has more substance than people think because I, um, even though it is very fluffy, uh, it's still Nako Yamada and I think she's fantastic. Um, and especially, I think the second season, yeah, it gets a little, maybe a little too fluffy, but the first season is still pretty fucking solid in terms of like, there's an actual like growth. And, like, I, the comedy is really good. So, like, Kaon's one, um, I think, uh, season two of Haruhi is art, um, and I don't care what people say. Uh, that's one that's pretty, mm-hmm. pretty, uh, divisive. Yeah, but yeah I'll, I, think I, I will definitely stand with you on that one. Like, I really enjoyed watching all of Endless Eight in one city. <laughs> Oh god, I I didn't do that, but uh, I respect that. Um, yeah, like I, I love Endless Eight. Like, I know it's not the most popular, but I just love it as like an existential dread. Yeah, uh, I think it's I think it's great. Uh, this isn't like one of my favorites, but I really liked Lucky Star a lot. You mm-hmm. know, I watched it pretty late in the game. Um, but I think I watched it at the right time. I was like, it's cute. It's cute and cozy. And, uh, you know, sometimes like, uh, those co- cute, cozy shows like laid back camp. You ever watch that? A little bit. Laid yeah. back. What? It's not, a, it's not like a ma- uh, laid back camp. It's like, uh, they, they just go camping. Oh, it's just, yeah, it's cute. It's not amazing, but it was fun. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, manga wise uh, as something came to me um, and I did read this later uh, in my life but I I really uh, <laughs> I honestly really enjoyed Nisekoi and everyone's always just like what? Nisekoi was like garbage and I'm kind of like look like I don't know what it is I, I don't know if it's because like I just like 
one day was just walking around at Barnes and Nobles. I'm like, yeah, let me just fucking read something. And then I just like got really into it. And I thought the, I think the art's really good. I haven't seen the anime, but um, but like as far as harem series goes, it's nice when a like a protagonist isn't like a bumbling fucking Id- useless idiot who's like a self insert mm. character. Like I think it's nice that's like the stakes of this harem anime is like you two need to date even though you like someone else or else uh our our respective mafia gangs will go to war and ravage Tokyo. And so they're like shit. We okay, that sounds that dating. sounds really fun actually. <laughs> It's it's a fun premise, you know. It's not perfect. There's definitely some like okay, I'm rolling my eyes moments, but mm-hmm. like because and that's just the nature of harem. But like overall, I was like, this was this was fun, and people forget. I was like, dude, Nisekoi like had official cult, like manga one shot collabs with Haiku, official collabs with My Love Story. Like it was it was funny. <laughs> like mm-hmm. you know, uh, it was constantly like the main characters looking at like relationships in other like manga series and just be like wow why can't we be happy like that like, you know, <laughs> like um uh, but yeah a lot of people are know, just like it's dumb anyway you know i don't think i've ever said this out loud um but one a manga that gave me that exact same vibe that i didn't finish it but this was before the show even came out that stupid uh I don't even want to say stupid. That that's like me being like, oh, I'm stupid. Uh, the what's it? Yamada and the Seven. What is Witches, it? Witches. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cute opening. I read. I I read some of that before the show came out. I don't remember why. And I was like, <laughs> huh. For what this is, like, it's very much like this is what it's about. But it was cute. Like I was like, huh. This this isn't that bad. Um, I never read stuff like this, but I'm like, oh, I'm actually like, I didn't, I mean, I didn't finish it or anything, but that was one that like, it's like, okay. Mm. And the show was supposed to be like pretty good, right? Or something. I, he- I heard, I heard people enjoyed it. Um, I didn't watch yeah. it. I just watched the opening theme cause I like the song, but um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's very dumb. Like, cause it's like, oh, they, <laughs> they kiss and swap bodies. It's one of those damn things. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, but it, it was it was it was fun. Um, I feel like I'm, just, I'm I'm literally looking on my anime news network of like ratings. Uh, real quick before uh, I'll go to you, Wilco. Uh, I like Boy and the Beast more than other people. I know that's a pretty mixed reaction. Oh, one, the Hosoda movie. I yeah, I yeah, actually really like it. I hate it. that movie. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I, I don't I don't have strong feelings about it, but I thought it was fun. Uh. And uh, what were you gonna say, Wilco? Uh, like uh, one, I, I feel like I, I have a one that I have a soft spot for that um, I definitely get the impression isn't like very popular is the uh, the uh, the Valkyria Chronicles anime. Um, oh, like, interesting. Because they do they do some stuff in it that I'm like, oh damn, I wish I'd done that in the game. Um, there's a lot of there's a, a number of things that are, like, different from the game, but I'm like, oh, this is actually pretty cool. Like, just off the top of my head, Alicia's the lead rather than Welkin. Um, Good. Uh, Jaeger and Selvaria do a, uh, do a, let's pretend we're party guests and infiltrate, like, the whole, uh, the princess is being kidnapped thing, which is, okay. which is fun. Um, I feel like Gregor's characterization is a lot better in the show. Uh, they kill off a bunch of characters that <laughs> were not killed off in the game. Um, Interesting. And okay. oh, um, you, uh, you, you, I guess you get a lot more uh, context for uh, Faldio doing his uh, ends justify mm, the nice. means defense plan, like. Gotcha. Like there's just a lot of little things that I was like, this is a really nice detail. Like on the whole, I think it's probably a relatively mediocre anime, maybe just above average. Like it's not great. Mm. It's it's uh it's an anime adaption of the game. But there's a lot yeah. of little things they do. It's like I like this decision better than like how the that particular plot point played out in the game. So it's just it's just nice. Did you ever play Valkyria Chronicles, Jay? No, I think the character was featured 
Um, there was a guest fighter from uh, Valkyria Chronicles in the Denkinki Bunko fighter. Um, mm. uh, Denki- Which character? Uh, I don't. She had big boobs. Big that's boobs. All, that's okay. All I Silveria, Silveria, probably. Silveria, probably. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Denkinki Bunko is a uh, uh, like a light novel company, so it had characters from like Durara, Sword Art, Toradora, um, et cetera, et cetera, as like a fighter, like in a fighting game. So, uh, and then they just had valkyria chronicles character in there too for some reason i guess uh maybe because it was like uh, the, the publisher was like working on that game so i see um, i think you would really like valkyria chronicles it's really good i've mm-hmm. only played the first one was this mj um uh, let me see you sent the picture probably uh less clothed but yes uh let me actually let me mm. see if i can look up that um that character uh, Do you know what Valkyria Chronicles? What it is like at all? No, I know I don't oh. know what that oh. is. Oh, it is a tactical RPG. Um, it's got like, um, imagine Fire Emblem, but like instead of like a grid, you're actually moving the characters in like a overhead like three like you know three D like the third person view, and like so you have like. A limited amount of space you can move on your turn, and then you can actually like aim at enemies and shoot at them like on your turn. So huh. it's like turn-based tactical RPG, but real time where the characters are actually like when you're actually moving them. Uh, it's really good, uh, and it's got like kind of like a Fire Emblem kind of vibe. Um, okay. Like you can recruit characters and stuff. Um, uh, yeah, it it's. Gameplay wise, it's fucking great, and you think pretty it's good uh, characters worth too. playing on the channel. I actually would love to play it on the channel. Oh. Uh, there, there's a, I believe there's one on Switch, and there's a remastered one on PS4. They have like the fourth one or something on Switch. I never played, but heard it was good. Four is really good. Um, yeah, yeah. Too bad we never got three though. But I have played um, free, like a fan translation of it. Um. Was it good? It was it was very good. Like I liked it mm. a lot. Probably yeah, I think the I think the weakest one is two. Um Yeah. Two definitely looked the weakest. Like there's elements of two that I really like, but uh it's definitely I feel the weakest of of the group. I see. Yeah, the, going back to the anime, I I hear it's actually not a bad show. But I just couldn't get past, like, it's one of those things where I'm like, oh, it just doesn't look as good as the game. You know, the, like, the art style? Uh, like, because the art, because mm. the, the game is beautiful. It, like, it's, like, I think it was like, one of the, like, I don't want to say first, almost. but, like, yeah, kind of, like, this beautiful watercolor. It's, like, 3D uh. CG, but, it like, like, have you seen any screenshots from it at all? I'm looking at them now. Um, yeah, like, yeah. it's, this is, like, PS3. Like, PS3... Uh, you know, at the time, pretty revolutionary looking. Um, still, I think holds up pretty well. Yeah. Uh, it and it it just looks very pretty. And the anime, it's like, oh, what other anime does this? There's another anime that has this same kind of look. Where I'm like, oh, it just doesn't look. It's, it's another adaption. What the hell is it? Uh, if I think of it, I'll I'll mention it. But whenever they adapt something, oh, I kind of get a similar vibe from. This isn't the one I'm thinking, but like the Persona animes, I'm always, I'm never interested because I'm like it doesn't like why why would I watch this when I could just yeah play the games? yeah that's just anytime people are like oh I'm should I check out the the anime I'm like just play the game I know it's more time but like it's it's so much better <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah honestly like are there any at- oh, go oh ahead. So, sorry it's like I guess it's sort of retreading the Valkyria thing again but like. If you were to play one on the channel, I'd honestly almost recommend playing four. Like, just because then, oh, really? then, then you'd both be going in blind, and there's some stuff mm. in four I think you would really enjoy. Are they pretty self contained? Like, I could just jump into any one? Doesn't matter? Um, pre- pretty much, I think. Um, no way. Like, um, like, there's obviously stuff that you will know more so if, uh, I guess. Because, like, four takes place at the same time as one. Um, oh. Whereas, okay. like... Because, like, in one, you're playing as, like, Welkin and his fellow galleon buds from fantasy Switzerland. 
uh switzerland mm-hmm. like holding off the empire invasion um because like uh it's like gallia is like a little neutral country between the uh the equivalent of the uh of two sides of what's almost basically like a fantasy equivalent of the second world war to a degree like it's a bit like yeah it's like because the empire is like a mix of Russian and German aesthetic and the Federation is effectively the allies. Um, Mm -hmm. even though Russia was one of those, no, not the point. Um, like four is very interesting because like the other three games all take place entirely within Gallia, but in four, like you're playing as like a Federation squad that are attempting to like, take the fight to the imperial capital so you're going across the continent which is mm, real interesting okay. huh yeah i am not opposed but i'm that guy where for the let's play channel if it's a game i actually really want to play i like playing it on my own first that's fair. Like, uh so i might play it on my own and then see then like, make me I am, suffer I, am, I get how it is it's always it's it's <laughs> not suffering like you like don't you like you like playing the dongus bongus oh no no for sure for sure but like you're, you're just like i'm just waiting i was waiting for that reaction it was so delicious <laughs> like i do your love pain that. is exquisite it must be said oh my god <laughs> i just oh man i mean uh, no spoilers at all, but thinking back on V3, oh, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> just the, glad oh. there's no more Duncan Rampa. That's <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, delicious! Oh, it's scrumptious. I was fed for weeks. <laughs> um, yeah, very very good. Um, oh man, okay. I mean. I feel like we could just keep going forever, but uh, oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll one, one last question, and then we'll wrap things up. Um, because I this did come to mind. What would you say? Let, let's say we're. That doesn't have to be anime, but since we're kind of on the topic of anime, like between, like let's say each of us, the th- anime taste we most disagree on, like, like something where like maybe I really like it and you don't, or the vice versa, like. Can you think of anything like that between just or like us th- three? Like no, no, no. Like but like e- 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 like each of us individually. So like, is there something that like Wilco really likes that you're like no, or you like that Wilco doesn't? Oh yeah, yeah. So like so like between yeah, like like of each other's taste. You're saying right? Like yeah, uh huh, right. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess the first one that comes to mind for me is uh, I and I'm sorry, someone, but sound euphonium just does not hit me as hard as it does for you. I really wanted it to, and I think the first mm. half did, but I was so fed up with the series during the second half. I was a little disappointed. Are we talking season two? Season two, season two, yeah. Um, mm, so that's I, fair. That's, that's yeah. just me, yeah. Not to say that like the moments aren't there, it was just like, and I, I do wonder if I, if I missed out because I had to wait every week, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I wonder if I like if I, if I binged it kind of like when we binged Love Live would have just like hit me a lot harder. Um, but like yeah, like I I was a little just underwhelmed with Sound Euphonium by the end. The first season is substantially stronger than two, but I think we can agree that it's worth it for Liz and the Bluebird. Absolutely. Oh, Liz and the Bluebird's yeah, a yeah, masterpiece. Yeah. 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 I love so, that so one. for me, it's like. I have to think of it all as kind of like a whole, right? Where mm, I think this, yeah. fir- I think the first season fucking slaps. I think it fucking slaps. Season two, I actually appreciate it more on a rewatch. But mm, I, okay. when I did, when I did watch it the first time, I was like, okay, interesting. I wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. Um, and then Liz and the Bluebird, I was like, oh fuck, okay. I was like, this is one of the best anime movies i've ever seen you know what i mean like yeah. like mm. so and i actually really like um i didn't think i would like it that much but i really liked the other movie it's not it, it's it's not comparable to liz and the bluebird by any means but the the sort of quote-unquote third season the movie i think there's some really good stuff in there mm-hmm. um i don't i don't know how you felt about it but 
Uh, I, I liked I it, was, it a lot. I thought it was fine. I, I don't remember as much. I guess that mm. that explains my impression of it. So yeah, I mean, the, but that's because I'm more attached to the. That's fair. The that's were we, fair. What were you gonna say? Welcome. Oh, for me, like the main difference, I guess, between season one and season two of Sound Euphonium was in season one, I was a big fan of Rain. In season two, I was like. Every time a scene with oh. Raina started, I was like, oh god, because of her particular fixation, I'll say, yeah. to avoid spoiling anything. Yeah. Oh. But I was just like, oh god, just show me another character, please. Even even um, boring-ass trombone guy, I'll consider. That's the biggest- I don't know if I'd go that far, but that's the <laughs> biggest L in season two is Raina just- <laughs> Like, it, 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 it's rough, but- I think overall, though, and, like, I wonder if you, like, had binged it, or maybe did, let's say, theoretically did, because it's, it's pretty short. Like, if you really wanted to, I'm sure one day, you'd be like, eh, maybe I'll rewatch rewatch it, because it's not very long at all. Maybe it would? I do think that sometimes when I'm watching things, like, because I never do week to week. Uh, You know this. Yeah, I've yeah. talked about this on, like... Like, I always am like, I'll wait till it's done, and I'll watch it at my own pace. So Anime Club has been this weird, like, and I've actually thought that, too, about some shows. Where I'm like, maybe I would have liked this better if I didn't have to wait every week. Uh, like, it, it's interesting. But in a way, that's kind of how the show is supposed to be consumed, quote-unquote, right? Like, at, at least if you're watching it for the first time. Right, TV, right. I mean, right? that's a whole different discussion, but... Yeah, yeah uh, it's it's weird. But the way we do anime nights, you know, with Anime Club is because we ha we like watch it a dot like one episode from several shows, um, mm. yeah, once a week. It kind of like it kind of dampers. I feel like the purity of like just focusing on or seeing the excellence of just one series because it's kind of like I'm just comparing, right? Mm. And so, so I I wondered that too. Um, yeah. So that's just a lot of factors, but. I yeah. will. I will someday come. Will rewatch it though. Um, I enjoy. Yeah. I, I I enjoy it that much. Yeah, like I, um, I think season two is better on a rewatch, knowing what kind of how it ends, and then you get to kind of see. There's a lot of setup they do that is not visible on the first watch because you're like, well, it's going to be like, obviously, it's going to continue blank, right? Uh -huh. But no, it's going this way. Interesting. Um, but overall, I don't know. It's, it's very dear to my heart. I was also in band though. Like, and yeah, that was like, not, yeah, that's, that's fair. And I like, I was in band. And I was like, oh my God, this fucking hits. Um, now I'm trying to think of what, do you, what could you have one for either of us of like anything oh. in that category? Nothing that immediately springs to mind off the top of my head. Uh, you guys don't have like a my anime list. I or do any, not like list of shows. Uh, I haven't updated mine in a long time, so it's a bit. See, you should, everyone should just make lists of everything they've ever watched, like me. That <laughs> makes it, it makes everything easier to talk about. Um, now let me just think about like toes. Toes. Have I said this name publicly? Toes. Not me. I could. I, I could know. cut that out. If... I, I. I don't care. Uh, the, the, that's what we call our anime club. Don't worry about it. It's a long story. It's very stupid. Um, <laughs> oh god! I can't wait to see the theories about that in the comments. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. I guess for Wolk, I can just look at what he's recommended. Um. Okay, I got one. I would say, like, Wilco, I think overall your shows are, are all good, uh, but the show I was least into was uh, Welcome to Irabu's Office. That's I fair. think for me, that one was, I respected it. There's a lot of shows where I watch and I'm like, I respect it, but I don't know. And again, that's another, I think we kind of talked about this earlier. It's another episodic one. It's kind of tough, right? Like, where, like, it has to hit me hard, hard, hard every time. For it to be like great, and I thought some episodes kind of fell flat. I did like though near the end of it, stuff started to tie in to previous episodes. I did like that about mm -hmm. it. Um, and overall, it's a very unique show, so I'm glad I watched it. Um, yeah, you know, I I, I, get, I feel the same way, and I, I get crucified for this as you know, coolly coolly. I'm like, eh, I don't, I don't, it's okay. Like I I I think I just missed the bus on on that one. Um, I like Fully Cooly a lot. I think it. 
I, I sometimes feel it's like I don't like it as much as other people, but I feel like that's just a side effect of um the like the more the more I hear something hyped up before I get a chance to watch it, like the more like the harder it is to impress me almost, I think. It's mm, like Okay. I think that's just like a thing that happens. Like the more something yeah. is hyped up, the harder it is for something to impress me, I find. Um Jay, I have one for you. I I don't think you, this is like a diehard show for you, but it's just in in. Uh, I was thinking about it the other day because I was asked about it on stream. Violet Evergarden for me, I'm like. I know. I'm I'm <laughs> like I'm, I don't know. I don't have many Violet Gar- Evergarden friends. I I don't think I have any Violet Evergarden friends. Not thinking about it, but yeah, I, that's something that's just I don't know why it just it just is that the one with the robots. Mm, uh she has no. a, she has a mechanical arm mechanical arms um, oh okay no, i might be thinking of something else uh it's a, it's about a young uh girl who used to be a soldier and is now acclimating into society by being a a feelings interpreter by writing letters for on behalf of people um, mm. and who i thought was 25 and turns out she's like 10 I, or whatever i, I like... omit that from my brain <laughs> and then every time it's brought up again i'm like i'm so sad i'm so fucking sad that's like the worst thing about the show but <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah yeah like well i'm gonna show you a picture like before i said anything how honestly how old would you think this character is? oh boy let's have a look here uh like she's got like a job you know she was in a war uh she's like a war veteran and she has a job. I like, want to say late thirties, early forties. But you're about to tell me she's like sixteen or some shit, probably. She, she's she, she she's like, is fourteen <laughs> years old. Yeah, Fuck I know. Off. It's 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 the worst thing about the show. It makes me so mad. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, uh, I, there's something about the show that just like is just very beautiful to me. And maybe it's because like I like the, the you know my whole deal with writing is like. I, I, I mm. want to understand people, and that's basically what she's trying to do in this show. Like, I don't understand why people feel things, so I'm going to write to, like, figure out why that's they, kind do, of a why they react the way they are. Yeah. Um, um, I thought it was very funny that recently Hideo Kojima was like, I randomly watched the movie that is the sequel that wraps up the series first. Never heard of this series. It was pretty good. And then he went back to watch the entire series. I was just like, mm. I'm glad you enjoyed it. But like, wow, what a strange way to um, approach a franchise. But oh, I, I, I did think of an anime that like, I don't know how big the two of you are on it, but uh, is relatively well regarded, but I found intensely frustrating to watch. And that's, um, uh, oh, what's it called? The one with Vash the Stampede. Um, oh, Trigon. Trigon. Tri- Trigon. Trigon's not that good. You're good. <laughs> I like. I watch that show, and I can understand why it's a classic for a lot of people. But I spent the majority of that show wanting to throw Vash down a flight of stairs. Yeah, <laughs> I could see that for you. Uh, I think I honestly think while Trigon is like okay, it was because it was on Adult Swim. And that's all we had. Yeah, like, I think I think there are much better mm-hmm. shows. I think the manga is actually better, but I didn't finish it. But um, it like any anything that's stupid in the anime is actually done a bit better in the manga. It's pretty different. Um, now I guess to uh end on a positive note, then uh, what's something that let's say, for the, kind of going back you know between the three of us like that one of us introduced to, to the other uh, and you were like, this is great. Like, this is one of the, my favorite things that you introduced me to, let's say, anime-wise. Um, Wilco, for you, I think, um, I loved Mr. Tonagawa. I thought that was fucking great. Uh, yeah. In recent, in recent memory. Like, I'm, I'm watching Kaiji now, and I know Tonagawa isn't exactly canon, but just having that context, I'm like, this is fun. <laughs> and I thought it was just super enjoyable. That, uh, that was really yeah. good. Um, but for me, Wilco, from what you introduced, uh, Mr. Stain. Oh, fuck! <laughs> yeah, no, Mr. Stain uh, is yeah. like the Both. best fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that's 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 my new answer. Garakuta, Mr. Stain on Junk Alley, for those of you listening. It's 
Art. The deepest it, yeah, possible cut I could bring to anime. <laughs> yeah. That is that is pure art. Uh yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, for um, me, um Well, I mean it's come up before, but uh like Chahayef Buru is probably like I think the top tier one that I've been uh, introduced to through you. Um that's such a good course. show. Such a good show. So good. Um yeah. I'm not sure if I've actually like been introduced to a new anime through Jay. I I think yeah I don't I never really uh I I never got to uh suggest anything. Then let mm. then I'll ask you one I'll ask you one last question Jay in a second. For you Jay I think for me probably Run with the Wind. Mm. I don't think I would have watched that like right away if it weren't for your recommendation. But that one was very good. Um, I'm glad more people think- should watch it. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, how about you, Jay? Do you have any? Are you said uh, Grokuta? Well, no, for 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 yeah, for from Welco from you. Um, I would. I guess it would be like encouraging me to finish the Silver Spoon manga. Like I watched mm. the anime, and you were yeah. like, you, you got like I'm like anime and something good. No, but you got to read the manga. And I was like, okay. And uh, and when I finished the manga, I was like, wow, this was this was such a journey. So, um, yeah. That, the, that, I the think that manga might be is truly beautiful. I oh, it's oh, so good. Um, then on, I keep saying a last thing, a last thing, a truly last thing. Um, then if you can think of three anime to recommend to Wilco right now that he hasn't seen, Ooh. what would be like the three? The three. And then I'll watch them that... instead of Brotherhood. <laughs> <laughs> oh you fucker uh, uh oh man in that case probably haiku's num- one of them um haiku's great uh i'm trying to think i'm trying to think uh 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 <laughs> not mong or not not anime but like i wouldn't i mean i encourage both of you to read blue period um mm. Blue. You've been recommending that for a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Blue Period is is about a a, a like a high school like kind of delinquent who's like, oh, I don't really care about my future, but one day he like sees like a, a classmate's like painting, and he's kind of like, whoa, like I've never felt anything like this before, and he tries to like become like an artist, and it's really interesting to see like his growth Ooh. and like the way he tries to approach art as a non creative, and then like trying to understand how to go about it better is really is really fun. Um, I know there's a Netflix anime for that, and I watched a couple of episodes, and the pacing was like fine. Um, but I think just seeing the the manga is like is nicer. Like you can kind of set the pace for yourself that way. Okay. Um, and then a third one. Um, oh, uh, for Wilco, uh, one of my favorite movies of all time, uh, Anthem of the Heart. Um, mm, that's a good one. Anthem of the yeah. Heart is from the same team as uh, Anohana, if you've seen that. But basically, it is about a uh, a, a couple of classmates who ha- are forced to throw a play together, like a musical, at their school. Okay. Um, and uh, I'll just leave it at that. It's really, it's really sweet, and it's very dear to my heart. <laughs> Great soundtrack too. Yeah. Um, the only thing I know yeah, about Anthem from the Heart really is like the the tweet you made the other day where you were like showing a picture of where you went to a place from in the movie or something. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, absolutely. During my my uh, Japan trip, I was Just, like, yeah, I'm gonna travel. Where did you like, go? Three we... hours outside of Tokyo to uh, Shichibu, uh, to which is the hometown of the writer mm. and like the setting for that movie. Just um, wistfully staring out over the hill. Yeah. <laughs> I, I i posted that. i remember when i first posted that and my friend was like who is taking these pictures meanwhile it's just me like finding a nice rock and setting my camera <laughs> on it. oh my god <laughs> this is this is the precursor to listen we're gonna go we're gonna go do a love life pilgrimage absolutely uh woko you can come too you'll have seen it that's true uh we're we gotta we gotta do we gotta recreate love life pictures um yeah anthony Mahar is great <laughs> Uh well, uh, we talked a lot about anime. Of course we did, Jason. <laughs> but like, uh, I had a good time. Now, uh, real quick, uh, where can people find you? Why don't we start with uh, with you, Wilco? Uh, well, I mean, I don't have a huge presence, but you can you can find me on Twitter at Wilco Jones. Um, 
other than that, I'm liable to pop up at any future board game charity streams or whatever, most likely. Um, and possibly <laughs> as references in the Let's Play channel. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> oh, and, and then you'll be on the Let's Play channel oh, yes. once you visit. Yes, We're having yes, you I, on. yes I will. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to when the world is safe to traverse again. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and Jay, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at jayperior, J-A-Y-P-E-R-I-O-R. Um, you can also find me on Pros of Plays Games, the Let's Play channel. Um, and I also uh, stream on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash jayperior, where I usually just, I don't know, play Fortnite or build Lego. <laughs> you can come hang out. And at this point, I believe my book should be out. It'll be a very big problem if it's not out by now. Uh, uh, Bounty Light, which is a graphic novel that I've been writing since high school and decided to finally make. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's 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 uh, my ode and love for Battle Shonens, uh, in a really weird, fantastical story. Um, yeah, and you can find that, uh, more information on that will probably be on Twitter. It's basically just like Hunter Hunter. All right, <laughs> oh, bye. <laughs> 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 All right, bye, everybody. <laughs>